Hey guys, it's Amelia, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get this free set in Royal High. But before we do that, make sure to like the video and subscribe and turn on notifications. So, this set is leaving on the 15th, so you have one day to complete all six quests to get all free six pieces of this set. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to complete the quest or give you a general idea on how to do it. Now, I will say that these aren't exact locations as they are randomized for everyone. And yeah, it's very random, but this will show you how to do it yourself basically and show some locations of where things are. Also, this is your last chance to get this set. So if you want it now, make sure to act quickly.
All right, so now for this quest, the puppy quest. This one is a bit complicated, so that's why I am talking now to explain this one to you guys. So, I'll start explaining when we get to the part of the issue. So we have this riddle on screen. That probably doesn't matter since I'm gonna show you where the things are. So this first one's on the moon. The rest of the quests are pretty simple. You just have to follow the instructions or do what they have to do. Uh, the only reason why I'm talking for this one is because of one complication, which is the, uh, probably, I think it's the third dog. All right, so just to make my life easier, we're in reset, slide off the moon. I might actually explain where to go for the paint quest, because that one can get kind of complicated too. The next dog is in here. We're gonna go behind this building. Uh, it'll probably be weird hearing me just explain this stuff. All right, now we're gonna collect the clue. And uh, green footprints. I'm gonna reset again because I do not want to fly out of the hole. And now we have to go to the sewer. And as silly as it sounds, because technically the best strategic way of doing this is to basically collect these numbers when you go into the sewer while probably doing Reddy's quest. Since I'm making this as a simple guide for you guys to understand, we are at the complicated part. So you may stumble upon a puppy lair in the sewers. Now the problem with this is that you need a code to open the door. And so what you see right now is me running through the sewer to find the code. And basically the code is scattered all over the sewer. And the only reason why I'm rec recording this part is so you guys can understand how to find it and decode it. And... So far, I don't have any of the numbers in here. And also, this area, I'm at these puppy paws lead to the layer. But you don't have to worry about that until actually you want to get to the part of entering the code. I'll show you guys um, how to enter it in and how to actually get to the layer because this maze is a little confusing. So I found my first number, and it's 2F. Now, I'm going to switch recording modes for you guys. Now, what I recommend for this is to either get a notepad or open a thing on your computer. Since the first thing I have here is 2F, I'm gonna write that down. Now, I would explain it in a way that is more easier for me to do, but not everyone seems to understand it, so I'll show you how to decode it um, the long way. But if you're just listening normally, I would write down 1234 as it's a four digit code. And then when I come across the number in the letter, I would just put the letter in the spot where the n number is. Of course, um, verbal explanation probably doesn't make sense. So you don't have to actually worry about it till we actually get to the part where I'll show you how to decode it. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if you record them down as lowercase or capitals. All you really need to know is that when entering the final code, it needs to be in all caps. Otherwise, it won't register. And I'll show you an example of that at the door. Any and everything that could go wrong. And I will say this before it's too late. My code is different from your code. So... Watching the video to see what code I get isn't exactly helpful, but listening to me explaining it is helpful, and especially when we get to the part of decoding the code. So if you aren't running through the sewer and finding numbers, you should probably start doing that. Somehow, I managed to get really lost in the sewer, and I probably would have already found my code pieces by now, but for some reason I'm silly. And or you could take the long way of actually guessing the code, which is kind of silly. I don't know why you would do that, but that's something, I guess. 
I don't advise you doing that though. All right, we found another piece of the code and hopefully I'll be able to find the last part because I do not want to be running through the sewer. And technically it would have been smarter of me to remember what my code was, but I'm dumb. So we're gonna reset now that we found all of our code things. And these things are scattered throughout the whole sewer. So it might be hard for you to find. But now that we're at spawn, you'll spawn at this area. What you're gonna do is go on the left side of that area back to the sewer on the Friendship Drive side. Now it doesn't matter what side you're looking for the stuff at, but to find the poppy layer, you must be at Friendship Drive. You see that, guys? And you see these green paws, so we're gonna go down this one. And now that we're down the Friendship Drive side, you see how there's one, two, three holes there? What you're gonna do is head for the third hole, go left into it. I don't know how to explain directions, but when you get into this uh, area, go right, basically. And then you're gonna see the sparkly pink wall, right? Puppy paws. That's the main clues. And now that we're at this door, I will show you everything that can go wrong. So as you can see, we have 2F, 3P, 4X, 1F. People might enter their code in as like 2F, 2, 2F. Oh my God, I can't type. 3P, 4X, or whatever number they get. Why do I keep doing dollar sign? 1F. And as you can tell, it's wrong. So, and you probably might try FPXF. That's also wrong. So how to properly decode this thing? Why am I stuck? This thing is like so invalid. Okay. So in order to actually crack the code, it goes in number order. So one means that's the first digit. Two means the second digit. Three means the fourth. Three means the third digit. Oh my god. Four means the fourth digit. And this is why I was saying earlier, I prefer to do it in chronicle or order to, so when I just come across the letter, I'll just put it where it should go. Why did I press S? I am losing it. Just a little bit. And so now you have 1F, 2F, 3P, 4S. But remember I said earlier it's a four digit code. Some people don't remember that. And they might do 1F, 2F, 3P, 4X. And try to submit, it's gonna be wrong. So what's the proper way of decoding the code? It's simple, I told you. One is the first digit, two. Okay guys, so basically while well, mid explaining my game crashed, which is funny. So anyways, if your game does crash, your code is still the same. I thought I'd let you guys know that. But if you leave the game and rejoin, your code digits are actually still the same. They're just gonna be located different parts of the sewer, which is very interesting. But back to decoding it. So like I said, three, third digit is P, fourth digit is S. So what you could do after decoding it that way is FFPS. That is the code for me. Again, yours will be different, but that hopefully explains the order of it. And then another thing that could go wrong is FFPS in lowercase, and it's going to say wrong, so it must be in all caps, so F FFPS, submit, what do you mean, oh, X, oopsies, uh, I don't know why I keep thinking X is, wow, my whole life's going wrong, I don't know why I keep thinking X is whatever, but it has to be in caps. And there is the third puppy. And now the last puppy is by Barbs and Lawn. So all you gotta do is reset. Fly over to them. And you basically got the item for that quest. Hopefully the explanation of the puppy quest helps. Because it's a bit complicated. Especially on the de door decoding part. And now that I got that and I'm flying, I'm going to reset and head on to the next quest.
All right, guys, we're now doing the IX Chaco quest. And the only reason why I'm talking for this one again is because of its instructions. All right, so our first color is blue. No, I'm pretty sure these things are supposed to rhyme or something. I don't know. The only thing you need to worry about is actually the locations because, you know, quite like the puppy quest, this one is finding things. Yep. And next we're gonna head towards the friendship drive thing. We all know that. And once we get to the pink paint, this one's a bit hard. So this next one is green. This one's a little mean, just like an inkling you make it a bit stinky. Now, obviously they're asking you to go to the sewer. Now, sewer is a little bit confusing. So what I advise is actually don't go to the one in front of Friendship Drive, but instead fly or walk all the way to the other side. And this is basically just a quick shortcut to getting to the correct one. So we're gonna fly all the way over here, and that way you don't have to go through the hassle of getting lost. So this side is beside the sidewalk here. There is no signs near it at all. So we're gonna jump down in here. Now hopefully, if my brain remembers correctly, because my brain is bad at memorizing. It's quite like the other side. If you come in here, there are three holes, now I believe. So we go into the third one on this side. You know, go around the corner and go around the corner on this side. There should be this invisible ladder here. And if we climb up the ladder, we go into the vent like Among Us, and we got the clue. Hopefully that is clear because if we go to the other side, we're gonna get lost. So we're gonna respawn now. And this one is white, I think. I don't even remember. My brain is actually frying right now. Um, this one is right by IX Chaco. And you see the snowman here? It is behind the snowman. And now the next one is yellow, or the final one they say. And yellow is right here in front of the, I think it's like the hotel or the apartments building, I don't remember, but it's in between those red carpets there. And now we're gonna go back to Charlie, or Ix Chaco, and claim our reward. Woohoo, we got the Celestial Armless. Now I'm gonna go back to being quiet and we're gonna do the final one, which is the Scripters Quest. And this, guys, is our final quest. And we should be awarded the badge, which is down there. And we got the hair bow. Hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.